What's up out there, fellow geeks, freaks, and motherboard lovers? Today, we're here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel to take a look at the new Asus Sabertooth 990FX. I'm Eric Ferris, your host. You guys know me. And today, we're going to be bringing you the unboxing of this new product. Now, the 990FX chipset supports all of the latest AM3 Plus CPUs. These are the new unlocked 8-core uh, CPUs that are coming out from AMD very soon. For those guys who are waiting for that stuff, you'll be very happy for this product. One of the big things with the 990 chipset, though, is that it supports both Crossfire and SLI together, has a slightly faster hypertransport system, but the 990 series is not really meant to be faster than the old 890. It's basically just about features and CPU upgrades. So today we're going to jump right in and take a look at the unboxing of the Sabertooth. So I'm going to bring it up here real quick so you guys can just take a look at the box. Let's make sure we get it all zoomed in there. By the way, if you make the screen to the full size, you'll be able to see the box bigger. A lot of you guys say you can't see the box, but I do make the camera and zoom in on it. I'm going to go ahead and pop the top here. Go ahead and flip the box to the back. Okay, now we'll begin the unboxing. I'm going to start down. I'll set it on the table down here. We'll get another refocus here. Set it down. Going to go ahead and pop the cap. You can see off the bat, it's got a little plastic face here. Shows you all the stuff inside of here. We're going to go ahead and remove that, take the top off. Going to go ahead and remove the motherboard tray out. Uh, I guess it's best, like always, is to take a look at all the features. So we're going to start off right here. There's a little sticker that says Tough Inside. Then we have two of the SATA connectors. These are the SATA 3. They support the new 6 gigabit interface. We have the user's manual. We have the driver's installation CD. We have the SLI bridge. We have the rear IO. We have the offsets for Easy Connect. Then we have a certificate of reliability for the Sabertooth 990FX motherboard. Basically, this is the same type of thing that MSI is doing. This is military standards type stuff. They get an external company to test their products out, and there's a certification that comes in the board. Kind of cool. Kind of like buying a dog with a pedigree. So here's the last but not least thing. It's for your warranty. It has a five-year warranty notice. You can see that right here. This is basically all the stuff that you would see in the bundle on my written review over on motherboards.org. We'll go ahead and move that out of the way. We'll take a look at the board itself. You guys out there who are waiting for Bulldozer, there's going to be a lot of motherboards for you guys to choose from. Everybody's hot to trot to get on that wagon. And that's a good thing for you guys because that means lots of choices. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and move the rest of the stuff out of the way. And we'll take a look at the board itself. Wow. Man, this board is heavy. The only other board I felt that was this heavy was one of the Gigabyte boards, the UD7, which is their top-of-the-line model. This thing is extremely heavy. So let's just start off the top here. You can see there's a giant military-looking thing down here. This is all, like, in fact, this thing totally looks like something you'd see in the military. The colors are all basic, like you'd be inside of a tank which is really cool. I know Anthony Reynolds, my tech, is going to be all on me about this board. No, I want it for a custom build. So it's really cool. Aesthetic value, cool. Here's the heat pipe going all down. This board has a north bridge and south bridge. Both are completely cooled by the heat sink. Here's the zip socket. Plenty of room around it for any of your aftermarket heat sinks. It's got solid Japanese capacitors and low ferrite chokes, you can see, that are all underneath there. You can see those here as well. I'm going to flip the board around. Actually, I'll go right back up here. You can see there's the 8-pin power connector right here. There's actually two connectors right here for your fans and another one right here. So you actually have three fan connectors all together right here. I'll kind of angle the board a little bit again. I know you guys like a lot of information in the unboxing, so I'll give you as much as possible. 32 gigabyte DDR3 RAM, dual channel. 8 gigabyte sticks will be coming out soon. Here is the 24-pin power connector. Good to go. Going to flip it over here. Take a look at all the SATA connections. All the SATA connections on these boards support the new SATA 3 or the SATA 6 gigabit connection, however you want to call that. We've also got another fan connector right here, and there's a connector right here for a breakout box. Then we'll flip the board around. You'll see that we have one, two, three, four of the PCI slots on here. 
Each one of these will run at 16 singly. We also have a single standard PCI slot and then one of the standard PCI 1X slots. This PCI 1X slot, I don't really know why they use it because these slots are actually better. They can, can use anything you want. Maybe just because the battery's there, they use a shorter in the design. Overall, really no big deal. Uh, see here, it's got Ceramix. That's one of its sound capabilities. Just take a look at all the stuff. We'll flip it around. I don't know exactly what all the stuff in the rear I is, guys. Maybe this is the unboxing, but you can see there's a lot of stuff here. So that about sums it up. I mean, that's everything that comes in the box. This is the new Asus Sabertooth 990FX motherboard. It looks really awesome. We'll have the full review and the performance for you very soon. But thanks for watching the unboxing here on motherboards.org. I Welcome to the Scallywag Pirate Ship Motherboards.org. Today, we are bringing to you the unboxing. I First of all, I just want to know how are you doing out there? <laughs> That's probably just too funny. You think it's too over the top or no? Yeah, kind of. How are you doing?